all right i get it and i respect it and you should too yeah this feels like a dream and you know just what i mean you see my boy he like gotta made it how to made it boy he's a fan and he like the ravens like the ravens and you know just what i mean you two team keep it clean you see my boy he like gotta made it how to made it boy that's my homie ain't that right and great so YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and in this video Brandon Knight he cleared up exactly uh, what's going on with him and why he didn't report to the Ravens and, and again John Harbaugh did say it's for personal reasons and initially when Harbaugh said that I, I told y'all I got Ben Mason vibes like when Ben Mason may have came to an agreement with the Ravens that he was going to come back to their practice squad after they cut him after they drafted him in the fifth round this year but it, it obviously ended up being something uh, a lot different. But before we get into it, uh, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Thank you for doing what you do. Uh, if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. If you don't and you're like, nah, I don't want to be no patron, then don't go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. I'm going to still love you regardless, though. So you already know what time it is. Anyway... Um, Brandon Knight, he took to Twitter to clear up everything. And I appreciated that because he didn't owe us that at all. He didn't owe fans that. He didn't owe media that. He didn't owe anybody that. Well, except his new employer. But I'm sure that they talked about that already. But to us, we didn't have to know what was going on. And we could have just continued to speculate and wonder, like, what went down? But you got to respect him for addressing it and letting the fans know what was up uh, and let's read his uh, his what he said word for word so he said first and foremost i want to thank the baltimore ravens for allowing me another opportunity to play the game i've always loved as of now i've decided to take a break from football to address my mental health although it was a difficult decision it was a necessary one to be back home with my family i look forward to returning next season and shout out to Brandon Knight because I know there are going to be some people that say, oh, man, what's that? That's weak. Oh, he shouldn't be doing that. No, man, he just ain't want to play for the Ravens. And it could be a number of things, but you got to respect it for what it is, man. You got, you got to respect it for what it is and what he said it is. Like, we don't know what's going on in his mind. We don't know what's going on with his mental health. But the fact that he said and he's addressing it, let it be known like, hey, I'm stepping away from the game right now to address my mental health. Okay, good. We're glad that he's addressing that. Because one one thing that you wouldn't want, just as a, as a person, you wouldn't want somebody who is dealing with an issue. Uh, and they're dealing with an issue for however long they're dealing with it for. And it just is bothering them. And they just, they just keep on suppressing it, keep on pushing it away, keep on like, I, I just deal with it later. And that, that could make it get worse and worse and worse. And we've all been in situations where we dealt with something. And we try to do that. We try to suppress it and we try to just be like, ah, nah, I don't feel like even bothering with it right now. That doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. It may make you feel like you temporarily help it, but it's, it's going to come back if you don't deal with it. So with Brandon Knight stepping away from football, um, like one thing that I was thinking about, he's been with the Cowboys since 2019. Um, I'm not sure if this is what triggered something with him mentally. But I tried to put myself in his shoes because, again, we got to remember these football players, these NFL players, they are not robots. They are they, they are humans with real emotions. Uh, so they go through things, too, regardless if they're in the NFL or not. Uh, but I tried to put myself in his shoes and I was thinking like, man, if I like he, he was with the Cowboys since 2019. So if, if I was with a job, if I was with a company since 2019, had been there put in work and I've been putting in work for the past couple years and it's now 2021 coming up on 2022 and we in the middle of our fiscal year so it ain't like hey, it ain't time for layoffs or anything like that so okay I'm good I'm straight and I'm really thinking about my future with this company thinking about different opportunities that I could possibly get with this company in the future and then all of a sudden bam I get fired or I get laid off even though the company could be like, hey, 
And we don't know if they did this, but it was said that they wanted him back on the practice squad. But the company could have been like, hey, Engraven, we love you. We appreciate you. We got to we gotta let you go for now. But, hey, we got a spot for you when you come back. We got a spot right, right here waiting for you. And we want to rehire you again, but you just got to wait a, a little bit. Just a little bit. So then I don't end up getting that spot. If I don't get a, end up getting that opportunity, especially when I put a lot of work into this company and I invested a lot into this company, but I don't end up getting anything in return. That could mess somebody up mentally. And with Brandon Knight, it is a different situation. And it's hard to compare a, a more normal situation to him getting claimed by the Ravens. But still, maybe he has so much invested in Dallas with his family, with his friends. Maybe he had so much invested in Dallas and he had planned for the future in Dallas. And that was what he was thinking about. That had what, that, what he was planning his life around and whatnot. Then all of a sudden, boom, it's like you got to go from Dallas to Baltimore. And that's a big change. That's a huge change. So if he had to do that, then that could have been a, a big shock to his system. Like, oh, man. What, what am I going to do with my family? What am I going to do? I don't know if he has kids or not, but if he does, what am I going to do with my kids with their schooling and whatnot? Because you, you, you think about all of that stuff. If you got to make a big move from one city to another, from one state to another, because it's a whole different atmosphere. You go to go from Texas to Maryland. It's a whole different atmosphere. And, and I mean, to be straight up, people in Texas are a lot nicer than the people in Maryland. So it would be a, a very rude awakening for them if that was the case. And then something else that I think about, too, is even if this, this possible move, that could have been something that triggered a, a, just a mental breakdown for Brandon Knight. But at the same time, like we said earlier, it might have been something that he may have already been dealing with. He may have already had an issue that had just been bothering him for the longest that, that he was going through, that he may have been just trying to suppress it and trying to keep it down. But all of a sudden this happens where you, you have to make this move. And this was not in his plans. And, and, you, and, and one, of the, one of the craziest parts about it, one of the craziest parts about the NFL especially when it comes to the waiver wire is that you have no say so you have absolutely no say so in what goes down so with that being said if you get cut from your team and you haven't put in i believe it's four years or more uh as an nfl player and you're subject to waivers and you, you, your original team cuts you you don't have a choice where you go you have none at all. And even uh, veteran players, we've heard so many stories uh, where veteran players, where they end up getting traded. And it's like, whoa, they didn't even see it coming. Some of them end up hearing it on social media. Like for a couple of Ravens, for example, that come to mind. Remember Lodi Nada? When, when the Ravens traded Lodi Nada to the Lions, I believe, they said that, um, I think he said he was at, at school picking up his kids. So it's like, man, he, I think he was, he was like either in, in, in the, uh, the pickup lane to, to get his kids from school or something. He was picking up his kids from school. So it's like, man, you, you're doing that and you find out you get traded. It's like, whoa, what? It's, cr it's crazy. And then with, uh, with Anquan Bolden, with Anquan Bolden, when he found out he was getting traded to the, uh, the 49ers, I think he was in Africa doing volunteer work. So it's like. It, it just, it, it can come at you from out of nowhere, whether you've been in the league for a little bit or you've been in the league for a lot. It can come at you sideways and, and you're like, whoa, I ain't see that coming. But my point is when, when it comes at you like that and you have no say so in the matter, oh, that can bother you a lot. That can bother you a whole lot. So it's just, it's a lot to deal with. But back to what I was saying, it can be scary for somebody who had, had possibly, don't know his situation, but if he had possibly already been dealing with something and then he gets this, this call, hey, you, you got claimed by the Raven, so you, you're not coming back here. We can't bring you back. It's over. You're going there. You got to move. 
You got to go. That's a lot. That's a, that's a lot to take on. That's a lot to deal with. And if you're already dealing with something, then it's even more. It, it weighs even heavier on your mind. It weighs even heavier on your mental. So with Brandon Knight, with him taking care of what he's taking care of, cool. I got zero problem with it. And, and I, I don't think that you should have a problem with it either. Now, of course, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but got to respect it. Got to respect it, like I said, for what it is and for what he is letting it be known to. Because, again, he, like I said earlier, he doesn't owe it to any of us fans. He don't, he don't owe nothing to us. Like, what? He ain't got to explain nothing to us. We are not paying his salary. We, we ain't the Ravens front office. Sometimes we be thinking we always, especially with some of them questions from subscribers and whatnot, which I love. But we're not. We're not the Ravens front office. So we don't call the shots. We don't waive people. We don't trade people. We don't sign people. We don't claim people. We don't do any of that. But um, I, I did really appreciate that, again, like I said, that he addressed it um, just to let it be known. Because I'm sure, especially since he has Twitter, he's been seeing people speak on his name. He's been seeing people say all this kind of stuff. And I saw some stuff in the comment section. I'm like, come on. Come on now. It ain't, it ain't like that. Like yesterday, we, we joked about it. Yesterday, we joked about the situation. But like I said in the video, I, I hope that uh, in, in all seriousness that everything was, was good with him. Because like we always say on here, you never know what somebody is going through. You never know. And that's why it's important that you treat people with respect. You treat them with love. And it can be hard. It, like if somebody is nasty to you, ooh, it can be so hard to treat them with love. And trust me, if somebody nasty to me, I don't always treat them with love. Because it, it's tough. It's tough. We're not perfect. And it's, it, they, they, they make it, some people make it so hard. <laughs> they really, cause people be trying you, man. People be trying you and people try to take your kindness for weakness. But anyway, we got to try, try our best to treat people with respect and treat people with love and just, um, just try to be good to people, man. Because everybody got their own story. And you, you don't know everybody's story. So y'all stay up. Shout out to Brandon Knight. Shout out to y'all team. Keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And oh, and, and thank you for, for 47,000 subscribers. We have 47K. That's, that's wild, man. Y'all are just, y'all are insane. Y'all are cuckoo. Y'all are crazy. But I love y'all cuckoo, crazy, insane, insanity. So appreciate y'all. Thank you. Um, now the Ravens, they still do. They have Brandon, when Brandon Knight returns, he will be a Raven. He will be a Raven because Ravens, they, they have his, his rights. I, and I, I hate that term in the NFL. Some of these terms in the NFL just bother me a little bit, but they do have his rights. So whenever he decides to come back to the game, he will be a Baltimore Raven. So whenever that time comes, we'll see you. Uh, but until then, just like Brandon Knight is temporarily when it comes to being in the NFL, I'm out. Shout out to Graven.